Okay, we're gonna take a look at how to draw faces using some proportions for guidelines. Now, keep in mind, the head shape that we sculpted is a sphere, okay? And traditionally, people have more of an oval head shape. So our features are going to distort just a little bit and that's okay. Now, the first thing we can think about, or the first thing I want you to try, um, draw a light line down the middle of your circle. So draw a vertical line down the middle of your circle. And then a little bit above halfway. So if I look, this looks like halfway to me. I'm gonna move it up just a smidge up above that. Okay, this is gonna be my eye line, okay? And then halfway between the top of the head and my eye line, that's where my hair is going to start. So think about where the hair is parted from. Is it parted from the middle? Is it parted from the side? Does it sweep over to the side? Um, so think about what kind of hairstyle you might need for your person. Now my dad's hair is usually parted to the side. It's a little longer through here, a little maybe shorter through here. Okay, then the next thing, we need to have um, our eye shape. So the human face is roughly five eyes wide. So we need to divide, we put one eye width in the middle, and then we should have, so if I drew these in our football shape for the eyes, we should see five eyes, okay? So I don't wanna keep all of those though, so I can just keep the two that I want and get rid of the rest, okay? So the shape of our eyes is going to be almost like a football or an almond shape, okay? So we're gonna draw something kinda of like this. Now keep in mind, these are general proportions. So people can have different shapes for eyes. Some are bigger, some are smaller. Um, this is just a starting point. Within our eyes here, we have a circle. So it curves at the bottom, but then it goes up underneath our eyelid here. So we don't see the top of our circle, okay? So this would be the iris, the colorful part. And then in the center of that, we have what's called the pupil, um, which is the black dot. And I like to leave just a little speck of white showing. It helps to make the person feel more alive. Um, so if you wanna see what I'm talking about, here in my example, you can see the little white dot. Here, you don't see the little white dot. So for our nose now, our nose is about halfway between our chin and our eyes. I like to go just slightly above because I tend to draw noses a little bit too long. Now, at the bottom of our nose, we have a curve shape, okay? Then we have our nostrils, which you could draw as two like oval shapes. Please do not draw the nostrils like this. Um, doing that, what you're doing is it would be like you were looking up underneath someone's nose, but when we look at them from front on, we can't see the full nostril, okay? So so it would be more of a squashed oval shape. Then we have the part of our nose that wraps around and underneath our nostrils. And sometimes this can even form, um, like we can even draw a line to show like the bridge of the nose. Sometimes uh, people will also have a very defined top um, point uh, or bridge to their nose that you can also show this way. Uh, 
Um, one thing I forgot to mention with the eyes, if you want the eyes to feel more feminine, feel free to add some eyelashes. So I usually just draw a line on the top here that kind of curves toward the side of the face that's closest. So like here, I added a few going to the right, and then this is the left eye. So I'm going to add some lines that curve up and to the left, okay? And then we also forgot our eyebrows. So think about the shape of the eyebrows. A lot of times it'll start right in where the corner of our eye is. And then I just use a little bit of lines to show it. Um, some people like to just use a single line to show it. It's up to you. It tends to arch up and then come back down um, by the edge of our eye, okay? And then for our mouth, our mouth kind of falls halfway between our nose and our chin here. Um, what I like to do is draw a circle placeholder. Now you didn't see me do that for my dad because his mustache covered it up. But when I'm drawing a mouth, I'll tend to draw like a circle placeholder here. And then our mouths actually start um, in the center of our eyes. So if I come to the center of my eye and come down, I can make a mark on either side um, to show where my mouth would stop. And then the upper lip tends to be a little bit narrower than the bottom lip. So here I start with a gentle curve up, another curve here, and then bring it back out. I apologize, my dog is whimpering in the background. For the bottom of the lip, I can bring it down and around for a big curve. For the middle of the lips, you're going to start kind of in the center and then you're going to curve it down a little bit in the middle and then continue over to the corner. Once you are finished drawing your mouth, take a look at its size and shape. Does it look like it fits the face? You might need to make some adjustments. So for mine, I felt like it was a little bit too um, large, so I brought the lower lip up. You can also erase the circle placeholder and continue to touch up the shape of the lips until you are happy with the look of the mouth. If you want to make it feel like your person is smiling, you can make the corner of your lips um, curve up a little bit, but be careful you don't want to turn it into like the joker. You could also choose to add the creases. Um, a lot of times when we smile, our mouth curves up and it creates uh, creases or corners where our cheeks raise up. You could also choose to have the mouth open. So if you want the mouth to be open, um, you would stretch the edges out just a little bit. It's going to make the upper lip just a little bit thinner. And then the bottom lip or the bottom part of the mouth you would drop down. You would have the bottom lip here and then if you wanted to have teeth you can have them kind of curved back, line in the center, kind of have them spaced out from there and that could be how you could have an open mouth as well. Okay. And then as far as the ears go, okay, for the ears, pretend that this would be the shape that you would have. Um, a lot of times they'll start kind of toward the bottom of the edge of the eye and then curve down and around. And then you would have the opening that kind of follows earlobe and then the little piece inside there. And you would have that on either side. Okay, another resource that is available if you go to unit three, you can go into the daily page or if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you're going to see a link to a face features packet. If you click on that link, it will open up in a new window. So you'll click on Open Face Features Packet in a new window. And that will take you to a PDF that shows you some different um, ways that you could draw an eye. If you continue to scroll, it has different ways to show different expressions with a mouth. Um, it also shows you different ways that you can draw a nose or um, show expressions through your eyes, um, different ways to draw the mouth again, different lip shapes, and also different ear shapes as well. So this is a resource that is available to you in Canvas. Okay, we're going to take a look at this one more time. I'm going to show you how I practiced drawing the face for my dad before I added it to my hero. 
On your worksheet, you have two circles, so if you would like to practice again, you can, or you can also freehand a circle on the back side to practice it. Once you are ready, you are going to go ahead and use your pencil to draw um, the face onto your actual sculpture. When you are happy with how the face is drawn on your sculpture, I would recommend getting a very thin Sharpie um, from the teacher and tracing your design in the thin Sharpie first, and then tomorrow we will start to work with paint to to, um, add any color that we want in the face. So again, just a reminder, we will not be painting today. We will just be practicing drawing the face and then drawing the face onto our sculpture so that it is ready to paint for tomorrow. So I hope this kind of helps you see um, some different shapes or styles that you might give to the face.